Hi there, Sign of Capricorn. This is Kim here with your next 48-hour reading. Um, so, hang on, let me get a drink of water real quick. Okay, so what we're doing is opening up for your spirit team, your ancestors, your angels to guide us, your spirit team, with this reading. I'm pulling from the Psychic Tarot first just to see what kind of energies we have for you next 48 hour. Beautiful, six pentacle, uh, material, spiritual prosperity. Material and spiritual prosperity. Serious celebration, three of cups, celebration, abundance, spending, um, well, spending your time rejoicing in, in celebration is exactly what this card is about. I have power, number eight, strength or power there on the bottom. I saw 101 on the time. All right, so this could be getting together, friends, family. What's the past energy that's influencing us? What is the past energy that is influencing us for Capricorn? This is a good reading. The past energy was one of boredom and discontent <laughs> and deciding, you know, hey, I don't like it this way. Things have got to change. I'm really over, I'm over it the way that things are going right now. That's kind of what I'm getting is discontent and boredom and being over it. What is the um, future energy looking like? What is it going towards? I have solitude, the hermit, spending time in solitude or just getting some alone time so you can read or study something, doing your research. That's so getting to spend time with friends right now, possibly success focused on your uh, finances, the give and take in the past. We have already decided what we weren't going to take or we weren't going to put up with. Right? So wanting to spend some time by yourself or in solitude, you will have that opportunity. What is the outcome looking like overall for the next 48? Trying to achieve balance in any way that you can. Maybe that's why we're getting time out after some kind of celebration. Right? And then there's your power again. It could be a challenging energy to you to find this confidence and power. But you can pull it off. And ultimately, either getting some kind of justice or restoring balance here is going to be like what we're either researching or what we're thinking about. And we are feeling like we hold it up for everyone else. That might be possible too. Or that might be what's happening with the Four of Pentacle. So you have four, four in your reading. I think this um, is on the right path, like you're on the right path. You also have the Tesla three, six, nine. You also have Cancer's energy here. Um, Libra, Leo. So let's see what kind of advice, because I feel like just staying on your path is like you're being rejoiced for it. Um, but yeah, for some reason, I feel like you're not wanting to move too much because you're holding up so much. You may be having some stomach or gut issues with the solar plexus chakra possibly blocked or having a creative block, maybe needing to get the flow of the energy right. Yeah, it, it's something that's affecting um, a financial gain coming in. So there is a financial gain to come. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Material Harvest. But it is the, ch the challenge is to get this solar plexus chakra um, cleared. So you might want to look up meditations for the solar plexus chakra, exercises, meditations. Um, and being open and believing in your own abundance and prosperity might need to do some more self-care like that might be why that solitude is coming out here 
and it's, it's almost like you have uh, a lot more power that could be tapped into. Any more advice for Capricorn? The Two of Swords. I feel like there's a decision. It says mental conflict, but you already know what to do. Sacral chakra is an issue too. That's in the reverse. That could have to do with sexuality sometimes too. So we've got a, a lot kind of going on. I'm gonna um I'm gonna pull from tarot and we're gonna get some clarification. Let's get clear. So you're definitely on your way though here to some kind of big material harvest, especially with material spiritual prosperity and material harvest. So tell me a little bit more about the firm foundation. The Eight of Swords. So you are in a firm foundation. Um, seeing things clearly is the issue or keeping your mind clear or not seeing things with rose-colored glasses. The Eight of Swords is when we basically block ourselves with our own anxieties. Um, whenever we feel like we can't transcend any kind of limitation, it puts us into that fearful Eight of Swords energy and look I now I have the two of swords and again two of swords two of swords so okay <laughs> this is really saying it's it's a decision that you have been putting off you've been postponing for some time and it's time to make that decision face something heal something maybe take time out to again two hermits hermit hermit again taking time out to think about these choices because you have so many choices, but you really, um, there's an issue with freeing our own anxiety, our own mind, our own anxieties. And you find this information within you. You find the stability that sometimes we could look for outside of ourselves within. When you find the stability and the abundance and the windfall that's inside yourself, then this is so much easily, easily, or <laughs> that's not a word, manifested so much more easily. I think that's how I was wanting to say. But so two hermits, ten of pentacles in the reverse. This decision could have to do with finances, being able or not wanting. It, it's up to you. It's like a financial issue. It's been an issue for a while. It's an established established connections here with the ten of pentacles i do feel like but it's a long ongoing issue and it just hasn't received any focus on solving it and so this is about solving it making the decision to solve some kind of prosperity issue now it might be mainly about moving your focus Two, 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 to what these are about. You may have something in common with Taurus or Aquarius. They have both had uh, lots of twos. The Magician in Reverse. And the Lover's Energy. My Censored Lovers. <laughs> and the Ten of Cups. So it's about, it is about finding this happiness, this fairy tale ending. You're going to come to a crossroads with this Lover's Energy. There's probably already soulmate energies here. There is something here that you feel like has no magic to it or it has the, I don't know, like this energy is like, oh, I don't, I'm not motivated at all to make something happen. <laughs> and that's why something's been postponed. But the Ten of Cups here, the Hermit and the Lovers, I mean, it's like, there's a huge, huge decision here that once you make it and putting the firm foundation and the happiness of all, like, I feel like you get some kind of emotional completion there once that's, once the focus is on the emotional happiness. Yeah, a new way to invest. Somebody has learned a lesson, Knight of Wands, and now here's the energy of movement, travel. And doing things a little bit different and investing, you'd be investing different also into somebody or going kind of like passionately towards somebody. And like I said, somebody's either someone's learned their lesson 
And so this is like a new way of doing something or investing in a different way or even adding to the family. Hmm. What kind of spirit animal you got for us for Capricorn? 21, dove, pe dove <laughs> spirit, be the peace. Dove peace is what I was going to say. And then I have 49 now is a lucky time. That's nice. The rabbit spirit now is a lucky time. Sweet little rabbits. And wasn't, was Tesla, did he like doves or pigeons? Oh, it's Mike Tyson that has doves, right? And then someone has pigeons. I don't know. Something like, something like that. I don't know why I didn't even know that. Um, firecracker, excitement from your tea leaves. Yeah, well, family wishes come true. That's definitely that 10 of Ten of Cups, you know, happiness, harp, great happiness, hills, obstacles to overcome, heart, love, deep affection and caring, fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray or white hair, staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times, dogs getting together with friends, bird perch waiting for news, package or a letter, man dealings relationship with a man and bell an announcement and you know what we'll pull one of these um angel number messages for you too if you need a private reading hopefully my uh website will be working and there should be a link in the description box below just gonna get a hold of me there or book it there too i have you have a great talent for finding solutions your intuitive unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others on the most fair and beneficial outcome i am diplomatic number two again so number two again sending you light and love thanks capcorn bye